What's up guys, it's Run Out of Ideas Rambler here, back again on the Hearts of the Iron of 4. And it seems that some of you have liked the Drew and Rambler karaoke so much that you decided to import it into the actual game. So it's at the minute, when I'm recording it, the most popular item on the Steam Workshop in the past week. Uh, oh my god, why? So if you too would like to listen to me and Drew sing while you play Hearts of Iron 4, well, just 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 download the mod and you can have it in it in the Hearts of Iron 4 soundtrack. I don't know if I should be charging royalties here. Probably be more profitable than ad revenue. But I digress. Today we'll be doing what if the Roman Empire still existed? Somehow Mussolini is still the head of it, which is fine, I guess. Absolutely fine. So here we go, this is what the Roman Empire looks like in 1936. Somehow it never split from east to west and has actually maintained hold of most of its possessions. It's lost some chunks up here and here a little bit. But I figured we'd give it a go and see if we can actually... Well, I don't know, I guess we're going to start World War II, aren't we? I'd be silly not to. So if you like the idea of the Roman Empire still being around in 1936, please do leave the video a like. It'd be very much appreciated. Also, if you haven't already, subscribe! And if there are any other empires you want to see brought back, leave a comment. Or just leave a comment anyway, it doesn't really matter. Oh, here we go. Good lord. Yep, part of the official soundtrack of Hearts of Iron 4 now. Uh, so it does seem that I start off in a very strong position. However, I don't believe any of my territory was changed into cores. So I just have my manpower that you would if you were just Italy normally. You also still have Mussolini, which in itself is is, is, is pretty disastrous. So when I click armies now... Me, Mario! <laughs> yeah, oh jeez. Oh no, that's going to get so irritating. Oh. Yep, I have the Mario voice. I really, really hope Nintendo does not somehow copyright strike me here. Now I'm also going to have the attitude of not being in any faction except for my own, so I won't join the Axis because, well, the Roman Empire is pretty thick at the minute. We don't need anyone. Probably famous last words. And what am I going to do today? Pretty much attempt to survive and try and avoid any further stagnation of the Empire. Oh, please, shush. I wish I could disable that now. Mamma mia. mia, let's go on the attack and see if we can't defeat Ethiopia. As the mighty Roman Empire, I'm sure we stand a chance. An advantage I do have, though, is that I control the Suez and Gibraltar. So hopefully we'll keep control of the Mediterranean Sea. Ah, we also need to update our legions to something a little bit better than this current template because quite frankly it's, it's terrible it's, it's absolutely atrocious and although it does look like i'm in a powerful position and yes i can build factories quickly but i think after about a f well you know 1500 years of stagnation and, and a little bit of receding well i was going to relate it to my receding hairline but the receding empire we need to be careful not to pick off more than we can chew i think we'll just do a cheeky old puppet for ethiopia we don't need to worry too much about them installing a puppet that seems pretty similar to what Rome would have done. Now, I've sensed a little bit of weakness in nationalist Spain, so I figured I'd go after them first and then target the good old Republicans. Although, based on how this works, I think... All right, Mario. I think I might be making a mistake here. Because if they're knocked out, then they get all the territory. Mm. I'm not sure. Okay, thank you, Mario. We will indeed join the anti common turn pact. We only need one ruler. We don't need everyone to have an opinion. Ah, yes, as expected, they took all the states. Uh... Problem... Oh, no. Okay, this time they've gone democratic. Well, okay. But I don't really think the Republicans will stand much of a chance against the might of Mario's empire. Time to take back Iberia. Wait. Wait, what? No, 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 no. This is less than ideal. Germany wants volunteer. Yep, I'll take those. Oh, good lord. Why, 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 why,
Well, this really does throw a spanner in my works, being at war with the largest country in the world. At the... This is when I wish you could just be like, hey, do you, want, do you want peace now? Ah, but the Mida Morsi has been formed, so we might have a way through Romania into the Soviet Union. No, 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 I didn't invite them in. Oh, for pity's sake. What you... Damn you, Pooyi! Well, I've got a beachhead, so I might try... Try is, a, is the loose term here. To try and seize control of the oil fields. My invasion has been a failed one. Oh, dear. Indeed, Mario. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to get the heck out of Dodge. Oh, they all died. Where's my navy? Oh, it sailed back. They all got sunk. They all got sunk because my navy went back. Oh my F. Oh my F. That is perfect. Oh, Russia declared war on the Soviet Union and we can invite Russia. Now, of course, they only have 50 divisions compared to the Soviet Union's, so they are a little outnumbered. Oh no, Russia's getting crushed. So as we can see, I've only got... Oh, I'm outnumbered over 2 to 1 from the Soviets. This is not good at all. Let's go to extensive conscription. Ah, well, Germany's going after Poland now, which is rather fan-dabby-dozy if they can actually defeat them this time. But I might help Germany out, because we have common goals, me and Germany are... Oh, good. No, not that one. This one. Ah, yes. They have ignored every warning, so we'll also justify... Oh. Oh, no. The Roman Empire is using a situation to its advantage. That's never happened before. <laughs> Let's go. Is Germany now struggling against Poland? I got... I really can't believe that, Germany. Uh, probably the wrong time to do that one, Germany. Right. I don't think we can grab a whole lot in this peace deal, so I'll just grab... Oh. Well, I figured while Germany is at war with France, I'd, I'd seize that opportunity as well. And although they are guaranteed by the UK, I, I think we'd do okay. Maybe. Probably. I'm not sure. I also forgot about this front. Right, well, let's just go after France, see if we can grab a little bit more of our old territory. So I'm not sure if this will be enough, but I'm going to try and seize control of the English Channel with my navy. I do have quite a few battleships, so we'll give it the good old round balloony try. Made a breach, but this is when I could really do with some German support, perhaps. Would they like to... They won't take military access. Oh dear. Oh, I'm making slow progress into the UK. I don't know how long I can hold naval superiority. This whole war... It's all just a complete and utter mess. I shouldn't have tried this. Especially taking out the UK's navy was probably just a silly idea. Regrets? I've got a few. So I think this is day three now of trying to get this video done, and I'm really not that far into capitulating the United Kingdom. But lucky me, the British Raj is now a major. Stupid gosh damn full of... And thanks to Japan going democratic, no one will actually declare war on them, which is absolutely fan dabby dozy. Oh, cool. Oh, and would you look at that? One naval bomber destroyed my battleship. Huh. In fact, most of my battleships appear to be- oh no. Okay, let's just go and repair now, please. Oh wait. The Soviets- Germany declared war on the Soviets. This could either be very good for me, or terrible. In fact, this is looking quite terrible for me at the moment. They're flooding into my territory. Oh, Germany. But now we might lose the pride and jewel of Constantinople- what, Istanbul? Oh, and the Brits are pushing me back too. Have I bitten off more than I can chew? Oh no. Oh no. I have a feeling... Oh no, what, what is happening? I'm getting pushed out of the UK. Uh, uh, I think it might be time to evacuate from my failed invasion. Oh my giddly gosh. And so is this. This is horrific. I have no idea what is happening here, Hello. but I need to send all available divisions to assist. I just lost probably a couple of hundred thousand men pulling out of the UK. That's brilliant. Absolutely Mamma brilliant. Mia. Kick everyone from the faction. Then I disband it. 
And then, oh, I'll have to swallow my pride as the Roman Empire and for now join the new world empire. Oh, I think all of these are encircled. Yes, Germany, with your one fully equipped tank division. Yes. I mean, they have a port, but they can't get enough supply through. Well, I think this will certainly cost the Soviets, and for some reason they have a hundred divisions all in this little clump. Oh, my. Uh, this is all part of the plan. This is all part of our very, very cunning plan to, to destroy the Soviets. I, I intended to join the Axis all, all along. <laughs> oh, my F. They're actually encircled. They're currently on four million casualties. And they are now on five million. Oh my god, they lost a million men in that encirclement. <sighs> oh. oh, well, of course D-Day happens. Sure, sure. Well, time to expand the empire a smidgen. Well, it seems they've created Fortress UK. But I somehow have divisions already for naval invasions. So that's that's a bit awkward. I have a feeling my <laughs> in my naval invasion that's going to get wrecked. Oh dear. And my navy has been so battered now that I need to repair them again. So off you go, Giuseppe. But with the Empire's borders firmly safe, I think that's where I'll end it today. Would I have liked to have defeated the UK? Of course! It's always good to show the barbarians what for. But I've actually managed to expand on the Empire's borders a little smidgen at least. So it's not a complete disaster, this video. So if you enjoyed seeing the, uh, the Roman Empire rise, leave a like, it'd be very much appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a comment for what you might like to see next. But it's toodaloo from me for now. Many thanks to Doombringer437, Zazzy, Goran Gamer, Hunter of Griefers, The Hardmeister, Red, Sam, Greyshot, Logan, King Gaming, King Vaults, Martin Shaw, Nico Manning, Feedback, Gaming, Wyatt Green, and Oscar for being ridiculous random supporters on Patreon. And many thanks to all the other patrons too. 